Yeah, we're about to go into the NYCLU. That's the local branch of the ACLU here in New York City. Uh, a few nights ago, a couple of our signs were left on the street. Uh, the group in here decided, uh, in NYCLU, decided to call the police and complain that our signs were out. And, uh, you know, of, of course, the thousands of protest signs that were left out in the street from Sunday, uh, there was no problem there. They saw protest warrior and they wanted to hand it over to the police. Yeah. So we're about to go ask them why they're only about protecting the right kind of dissent. They're not for protecting all protesters, just leftist protesters. So let's go call these hypocrites. Let's see what they're about. All right, let's go. Uh, we're with protestwarrior.com. We wanted to uh, know if there's someone here that we could speak with. Protestwarrior.com. Protest okay. Is there a representative? Okay, thank you. Sure. This is the NYCLU. They sell a lot of shirts. Yeah, we're with the website protestwarrior.com. A few days ago, like we uh, support the war, we protest the protesters. Anyways, a few nights ago, a few nights ago, a couple of our signs were left out on the street, and your office called the police and wanted them confiscated and said we were harassing you. So I want to know why you're only for protecting certain kinds of speech, not all speech. Now, what what is your official duties here, being in the ACLU, to protect protesters? Yeah, is it all protesters or only left-wing protesters? You have a response? We just want to know why you called the police because we had a few of our signs out on the street. That's all we want to know. Brilliant. Leftist dialogue and dissent at its finest. So uh, you're part of the ACLU. How come uh, you don't have a problem with the 10,000 other ways the uh, federal government violates the Constitution? I mean, there's no... The uh, Constitution clearly lays out what the federal government can do. It doesn't include education, doesn't include health care, doesn't include uh, racial quotas, doesn't include all sorts of things that you don't seem to have a problem with. You're very picky about what constitutional rights you care about, aren't you? Are there any non-mute uh, members? Yeah. Is there anyone here that can debate? <laughs> the microphone's over here. speak with you if you put away the microphone on the camera until then. Why not? Why? I'm giving you a microphone. I've already told you what You know, we're like 60 minutes. You know, we're just like a free... You, know, you don't want to talk on camera, though. Come on, I want, okay, why don't we do this? Why don't we sit down? We'll have like a real dialogue, a real debate on serious constitutional law issues. We'll do it on camera, and we'll give you a copy of all the raw footage. I've already told you what our policy is. That's what we seem to find is that no one on your side will ever debate. Like, well, why do you think that is? I mean, you're all about dissent. Well, uh, well, that's not acceptable. And what's the point then? Well, okay. All we want to know is why you called the police because a couple of our signs were left on the street. I mean, that's really all we want to know. Did you call the police on all the other? Willing to talk about that? Put the microphone and the camera away. Uh. All right. Looks like it's over. They're not gonna. Okay. Talk. Hey, the vibrant it. intellectual discourse of the left wing, everybody. Get it, get it. Full force. This poster over here. Yeah, let's shoot around here a little bit. This poster right here has the same guy. Some one of their propaganda in, in film. One guy's in black. It says, which man looks guilty? If you pick the man on the right, you're wrong. Implying that if you pick the guy on the left, you're right. Well, this particular man is much more likely to be stopped 
while driving than this particular man. This is Charles Manson. Not everyone looks like Charles Manson. Hmm. All right. Okay, once again, posters. we've proven how intellectually bankrupt the left is and what cowards they really are. Our work here is done. Let's go. All right, thank you. Don't insult us. support uh, robbing of people who work their life to make money, like Bill Gates, for example, who started in a garage and is now uh, a multi-billionaire. Do you support that the American, you know, that his American dream was to make money and that he lived it? Well, if you're talking about the computer industry, right, the computer industry was funded through taxpayers in World War II, right? As almost a lot of American major industries have been, like right now the U.S. taxpayers funds not only the computer industry, until it becomes profitable, and the pharmaceutical industry, and but would you say the that computer industry, as soon as it became profitable, then it was privatized. Would you say so that the American without, dream is not worth taxpayer, going for? The average taxpayer building up the computer industry until it became profitable, there would be no billionaire privately owned computer industry. Are you, well, what's your name and what organization are you with? Sure, my name is Amanda Hickman, and I'm part of counterconvention.org, and I am New York City. And we have put together a series of interviews with community organizers around New York City who are fighting the Republican agenda every day. Um, and we're passing it out to remind New Yorkers that it's about the issues. It's not just about who's president. It's about organizing year-round to stay on top of making this city and this country what we want it to be and what we need it to be. And we can do that if we're organized. What part, what specifically of the Republican agenda are you against? Is it foreign policy or domestic policy or both? I don't see the Republican economic agenda working for anyone in New York City. I don't see the Republican foreign policy working for America and the world. I think that the war that we've engaged in in Iraq is incredibly brutal and incredibly unjust. I mean, he lied to us and, and took us into war, and that's not okay. I have a real problem with that. But on top of that, the, re the repressive economic agenda is a problem. His policies mean, on immigration are a problem. His policies do you mean the uh, repressive taxes and regulations that keep people down and make the, the bar for success higher? Is that what you're talking about? Or are you saying that... What, what about a system of taxation that takes that that asks people to contribute a portion of what they're what they're making and what they have to live on to support the infrastructure that we all need to support and what percentage should that be what's, what percentage should that what's be? the ideal you and i both know that that's an incredibly nuanced question that that's I mean, right now the average american has to work 40 percent of the year to pay the government and then the rest they can live for themselves so that's too low too what, high what are you basing what are you basing that average on that's when you, when you calculate everything, federal, state, local, property tax, all the taxes we pay on everything, that's what it works out to. And what does each person, individual person, as a percentage of their income, pay? It's not 40 percent. You're making shit up. I mean, you're, you're pulling statistics out of the air based on, based on the overall... Well, it's true. The rich, the it's true. The top, the top earners are taxed. I believe it's like the top 5 percent of earners pay 70 percent of the taxes, the federal income taxes. Wouldn't, well they should. wouldn't it be better? How much money do you make a year? Wouldn't it be better if instead they could invest that money in their companies, in private enterprise, could hire people, could invent things? Wouldn't that be better than going to bureaucrats and getting people dependent on government? And and what about our economic system? We've tried it your way. For the last 50 years, we've done every social welfare program you want. We spent trillion on the war on poverty. It's been a total failure. When is it ever enough? Will there ever be enough government? Yeah, trust corporations there. Yeah, ruin a whole fucking economy. I don't want to talk to you.